So you got that 27 inch, right? Because everyone needs a computer as big as a television. And plus, your neighbor has a 21 and a half inch, and it was about time you one-upped him on something. Six-year-olds can be such pricks. So, this computer's a mid-2011 i5 iMac. It only came with four gigs of RAM from the factory. It has four RAM slots, only two of which have sticks in them, because, again, that's how it came from the factory. While Apple claims on paper you can run up to 16 gigs of RAM in this sleek mortgage payment, you can technically run up to 32 gigs. I have no idea why you'd upgrade to 32, maybe other than bragging rights. Then again, have you ever thought anyone was cool because they bragged about how many GBs of RAM their computer has? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, I edit video, and I like doing other things on my PC while rendering, so I figured I could throw in 8 gigs and bring my total up to 12, which should be more than enough. It's best to upgrade this in pairs, and not coincidentally, that's how most iMac RAM upgrades are sold. If you really want to run an odd number of RAM sticks in this, please verify which of the four slots only support a stick by searching Apple's website. Otherwise, just do what everyone else does and buy a pair. So, this iMac uses a DDR3 1333 SODIMM laptop RAM. If you'd like to purchase this exact product, it's made by Crucial, and the model number is CT2K4G3S1339M. I got mine from Newegg for about 70 bucks. It's not my business where you get yours. Okay, so since this is probably the easiest upgrade you can do on any Apple product ever made, ever, how about we get started? First, turn off the PC, because doing this while it's plugged in and on is a stupid idea. Just unplug it. Then remove the three screws with the screwdriver and remove the panel. This is much easier if you lay it down, but if you want to attempt it another way, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Move those plasticky flappy things out of the way. Pop in each stick. Make sure you look up in the slot and find where that notch is. It's slightly off-centered, so it should be pretty easy to line it up. All right, insert the RAM the correct way. Now replace the cover with the three screws. Plug it in, turn it on, and bam, now you have more RAM. All right, that was pretty easy. Way easier than explaining to your significant other why you spent $1,700 on a computer when a $500 one would have worked. Alright, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video.